Hello friends, welcome back to lmsdaily.com. In today's video, we will see a plugin in Moodle which is named as Smart Cohort. If you are a Moodle admin, you might have faced the problem of managing the users in different cohorts and this plugin, the Smart Cohort can be used to add the users automatically in specific codes based on the filters so let us see how you can use this smart cohort plugin in your moodle site you can download this plugin from the link given in the description section below and after installing this plugin you need to navigate to your moodle site as the admin so let me show you how now i am logged into my moodle site as the admin and now you need to go to this site admin tree and here under the users tab you need to see this smart cohort tab this will be a new addition once you install this plugin on your moodle site so you need to click on this one and for the first time you will see that there is a button named create rule and there are no rules created at the bottom here once you start using this plugin uh, you will be adding a lot of uh, rules here and believe me that this plugin is a really good tool for the Moodle admins who are looking to manage their cohorts automatically so now let us click on this create rule button to set up our first rule for this for a new cohort now one thing you need to make sure is that you have set up some cohorts before using this plugin Otherwise, this plugin cannot create the new cohorts on your Moodle site on its own. So you need to first set up the cohorts and then you can use this plugin afterwards. Now after clicking on this create, create new rule button, uh, you need to give it a name. So let me say that I would like to filter the users with name students. And as of now, I have only one cohort set up on this Moodle site. So I am seeing only one here but you can also see different codes set up on your Moodle site. So after this, just click on this save button. Now in this page, you can set up the criteria of filtering out the users. You can see that we have different options for filtering out the users based on the user full name, the first name and last name, then the username, email address, city town country confirmed suspended and all those things uh, you can also see your custom profile fields set up on your Moodle site here on this page so now let me say that if the user full name contains the word student you can also choose that different options here if it does not contain or is equal to or starts with or ends with or is empty to filter out the specific users for your cohorts and then you will just click on this add filter here now you can see that this uh, based on this user full name contains a student we have three users out of the total five users on this Moodle site which are meeting this criteria so you will see the list of students who are meeting this criteria here underneath and once you are satisfied with the selected students or selected users you can click on this save changes button here so now you can see that we have this first rule created for our smart cohorts on this page you will again see that what is the name of this filter and which cohort this is applied and then what are the filters used for this specific rule and what is the current state so as of now you can see that it is showing as in progress but if the cron is run then it will show the affected status so let me show after running the cron on my site so now after uh, the cron has been run on my Moodle site you can see that it is now initialized which means that this rule is applicable now and how many users it has affected so it has affected the three users which we previously saw on the previous screen and on this edit column you will see different options like to delete this rule 
or you can modify this rule by click, clicking this edit button you can also see the users in this specific rule by clicking this last button so this is all you can use to create specific cohorts on your Moodle site and filter out the users automatically based on this rules so if you like this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon on our youtube channel and if you have faced any problem while using this smart cohorts plugin please feel free to post your doubts in the comments section below i will really appreciate to respond you back thank you very much for watching this video